Shabbat Shalom. I'm standing here in the sanctuary lobby in front of one of our two Atzei Chaim, our, our Trees of Life, uh, which celebrate or memorialize the significant people and events in the life of our community. And um, in, in standing in front of this tree, I, I have a sense of all the, the joy, all the significance of, of, of life lived in this world, all the different experiences that one can have in these days, which is probably, I think, uh, richer and more varied than at any time in the past. So what is my problem with this? Actually, I don't have a big problem with it, but I have a small problem. And that small problem is, is that there's a tendency for us to be completely distracted by all the things that are going on on the outside of our perception, such that we're not very much aware of what is going on on the inside. And I think this is the characteristic of modern life. It's become very advanced technologically, and so we have uh, choices in, in um, areas such as travel, or communication, or media, or a million different channels that um, draw us from uh, within to without. And so what I want to say is that maybe we can have at least a, a concept of something that can balance things out in our experience of life. Let's say that there is a magnet or a magnetic tendency that draws us from within to without. Um, and that is a very powerful magnet. In fact, one can live under the influence of that magnet uh, for days, weeks, or even months at a time without being much aware of that inner tendency. Now, let's say also that there is a big, huge inner magnet uh, that would like or, or that seeks to draw us within um, but that most of the time it's neutralized by that outer magnet. In order to become influenced or magnetized by that inner tendency, one actually has to take conscious steps in that direction. And in fact, that's what every religion, every spiritual path is ultimately about. It's finding a way to break the hypnotic hold that outer experience has upon most of us and bring us to a more realistic, a more balanced way of perceiving reality. The catch is that in order to be magnetized by that inner tendency, one has to consciously decide to move in that direction. Fortunately, in Judaism, there are many different ways that one could do this. For example, the path of mitzvot, the path of the commandments. Mostly the commandments are actions. So we could say that by undertaking a certain set of actions on a consistent basis, one is naturally brought more and more within and when one goes within, one gets closer to the values of God and spirit and righteousness and love and happiness and harmony than would otherwise be possible. There's also the path of knowledge, the path of Torah study. So simply by studying Torah, rabbis like to say that Talmud Torah Keneged Kulam, the study of Torah is worth all the other commandments put together, that one can also be led in this inner path again in the direction of God, spirituality, righteousness, eth ethics, sensitivity to others, all these blessings of life. And finally, I would say in Judaism there is the path of, of mysticism, um, lately expressed in Hasidism, um, before that previously expressed as, as the Kabbalah. Um, these things now being translated into English and being made quite available today, and so one can learn Kabbalah in, in any number of different ways. One can practice Jewish meditation. One can practice other forms of meditation. And this also gives one uh, a very, very uh, distinct direction within, which allows, once again, that inner magnet to begin to prevail in life. I want to emphasize that one doesn't really have to sacrifice in order to do this. In fact, the whole purpose for coming under the influence of this inner magnetism of the spirit is to enhance and enrich and deepen our experience of the outer. You might think that you have quite an enhanced and enriched experience of the outer now. I can tell you, no. That there's always much, much more that you can experience, much more enjoyment to be had, much more love to be given and received. This is what the inner path of, of the inner magnet is all about. So I want to wish you the experience of depths within in order to enhance your experience of depths without. And that may be somewhere in the back of your mind you can, you can carry this concept with you 
In case uh, you notice that maybe it's been days or weeks or months since you've had much inner experience, and to realize that that big, huge magnet is anxiously awaiting you and your experience. So I want to wish you a Shabbat Shalom and look forward to seeing you soon.